Hi guys, it's Trinity here, and I you are watching how to make a triple single. This is a really easy and cool looking bracelet. I am today I am going to be making a rainbow morphing bracelet. So stay tuned to see what you will need to make this bracelet. You will need one loom. Today I am using the DIY loom. But yeah, so you'll need one loom, one hook. I, today I'm using the um, the rainbow loom plastic hook so I haven't got the metal tipped one but I don't know why I just haven't so you'll be needing a hook you will also be needing bands of course to make a loom bracelet you will need loom bands I am using for my rainbow one red orange yellow bright yellow green dark green teal blue, dark blue, dark purple, uh, purple, and bright pink. You can use whatever color you want, but I'm just going to be doing rainbow. And finally, you will be needing a S or C clip. I'm using an S clip today, as you can see, because I just, just have one at hand. Oh, this one. Hey, don't you hate it how it's like covered in plastic and it's not cut properly? Yeah, I'll just get another one. Yeah, you will need an S or C clip, so I'm using C clip, so let's get started. Okay, so first start with your loom, with your arrow pointing away from you. Okay, so then, yeah, pointing away from you. Take your first band, so you're going to need three bands. So this is red, it, it might look a bit orange, but from this pin to this pin. Take your next one, this pin to this pin, next one, this pin to this pin. So now you should get a loom like this. Get your next color, which might, we'll get next three colors. This pin to this pin, this pin to this pin, and this pin to this pin. Like that. So get your next three colors or bands. Mine's yellow, and this, and it's kind of just carrying on, so, like that, and you can push them down as you're going on, okay, so now I'm going to get my bright yellow and put them over. This is a continuing pattern, so keep doing this until you get to the end of the loom. Okay, so now I have finished putting all my bands on. As you can see, it goes red, orange, yellow, bright yellow, teal, blue, dark blue, dark purple, uh, purple, bright pink, pink, and now it goes to white because I miscounted the colors, and I just, because it goes to pink to white, so, yeah. Okay. I am so sorry guys, I forgot to tell you, you will be needing black or a different color to rainbow. So I'm using black because it looks really effective. So these are going to be your triangular bands. So now, you turn your loom around, so now the arrow is, pa now the arrow is facing towards you. And you put on one of your end bands like this. So it can, you can see it forms a triangle. You keep doing this until you get to the end of your loom. Okay, so once you get to these three these pins, do not put a black one over these three pins, okay? So your loom should look like this now. Okay, so time for the hooking process. So get your hook and then take the bottom band and flip it over. Oh, sorry. Okay. So take under the band like this, bring it up and onto itself. Like that. Okay, guys, so I have just changed the camera angle. Another moment, you have just looped this one. 
So now go inside the band because you don't have to already because it's already inside. And hook this one over. Like that. Now go inside your band. Take the bottom one over and onto itself. So now it should be looking like this. So now go in from all those bands. Now take the bottom one and onto itself. Through the bands, take the bottom one onto itself. Through the bands, bottom one over itself. I will just finish this row and I will show you what this row looks like after I have all looked, loom, uh, hooked them over. Okay, so I have finished looping them, the row all over. It should look like this teardrops or raindrops or whatever you want to call them. Like that. And even do the bottom one. So, continue doing the exact same thing on the other side. Show you again. In from the band, up, over, and loop on itself. In through the bands, pull up over itself. Through the bands, pull up over itself. Now I will continue doing this row. Okay, the both two sides of the row should look exactly the same. So now let's do the middle one. It is the same process, but instead of putting through the band, you don't have to. Because it's already looped on that side, you just take it and put it over. So sorry guys, this is a bit hard to see. Sorry guys. Okay, so I have changed the camera angle again. So sorry guys. Um, so, as I was saying, go in through this band. Take the bottom band. Over and onto itself again. Over. Don't forget, when you're at this point, do not let the band go, because then it will slip under, and you would you have a chance of saving it if you know how, but sometimes you wouldn't know how, and you just have to start again, or you can experiment on how to get it over. So, yeah, they look the same as those teardrops. Say, um, you cannot, so you've looped this one here, and you haven't looped this one here. You cannot go straight onto this one because it'll mess your whole bracelet up. You have to go in to or you have to go in to order. Cause if you um, skip one and move on to the next one, um, there there is a very likely chance you will have to start again, unless you do them all backwards, which. Um, it's it's annoying, I guess. Okay, so the last one, loop and put on. So now you have almost you are so close for finishing. So you can turn your loom this way if you would like. So you're gonna get this one. Ooh, that was lucky. So lucky. Okay, so Gonna get your hook, take it off, get your fingers, and hook it onto this one here. But still have it on to that one. <laughs> that doesn't look right, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so again. Oh yeah, sorry. Don't hook it onto that one. It's just yeah. So take that one off. Put that one over the top like this. So now these two pins should be completely empty with no bands on top. And these should have all these on. So you can push them down a bit. So I'm gonna, just going to change hooks. So get your hook. Push through all those bands. And then grab your band. Put it on the end of the hook. Pull it through and like that. 
So if you'd like, you can make a slip knot by pulling the end one here and pulling it over and letting it go and tightening this. But I'm just going to go ahead on, sorry, and put on the extension ones. So now you can just carry on with this bracelet like it is a normal, sorry, like it is a normal um, single bracelet. And this is a really weird way I'm doing it at the moment. I prefer just doing it with my fingers. And that is what I shall do. So you take this one. Well, I think it's easier with doing it with my fingers. Okay, so once you've got a couple on, put your hook through there, preventing it to come off. Okay. So now you can you should have two hooks at hand. Oop. Now you go all go all through those bands and be careful not to break your hook or that. Take it off the loom. So now you can go ahead and take it all off. I do my brace I do mine very very I take mine off very slowly. I do not know why, it's just, I don't know, it, I just have trouble taking mine off the loom, sorry, my hand's getting in the way, I have trouble taking it off the loom, so I will come back when this is all off. <laughs> Actually, what I find easier is starting on this end and taking off all the outside ones like these these ones here so I find that much easier that and just take them off and then you can go ahead and oops, take them off like this Then you can see it's much easier and it has less stress on your um, loom. Oh, it keeps coming out. It's so annoying when that does that. Okay, so like this. Now at the moment they might be a bit out of shape. Woo! Watch out that your um, single doesn't come loose like mine just did. So you gotta watch out for that hook as well. So you put that hook back on and you kind of just stretch out as much as you can well like kind of make it even like this stretching the side of the black bands or whatever color you have in the middle so at the moment mine's really floppy as you can see so I'm just gonna go on and put my single on well yeah, you know what I mean, like my single. So I'm going to come back when I have finished, oh, sorry, my single. Okay, so once you've finished your single, or whatever you want for extension band, oh, that's the same one. Sorry, guys. Um, get your S or C clip and just hook these two, oh, these two bands on like that. Now I needed a very, well I have a very short extension. Now I realize why I need to put the white on. I forgot the green! Can you see any green? There's green in the ex of your, um, you know, um, triple single. Sorry guys, mental blank then. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, comment, and give a like, please. So, thank you for watching.